Hey guys, it's me, it's your best friend, it's Carbot. And guess what I get to do today? I get to review a product. I think that's pretty cool. I've never been able to do it. Well, I've never had the chance to do it, I guess. And this product is actually uh, something that I can use. It is a graphics pen display by Hueyon. What is a graphics pen display? Well, it's basically a monitor that you can draw on. Now to give some perspective, I use something called Wacom graphics pen display. They're called Cintiqs. And so that's what I'm used to and that's all I've ever known. I've only used one brand. And so to me, it's really exciting to try out a new brand, which is Hueyon. So I'm gonna review this product and hopefully you guys enjoy this. So here we go. Now this is actually me opening the, the box that it came in. And then I found out that there was a box within the box and then I found out that there was a box within that box, and then I finally found the Hueyon display. And there it is, I found it. Ugh. Started to get worried there. And this is what it looks like. And right out of the box, it looks really sleek. The design is nice. The bezels on the side are actually significantly smaller than the one I have, which is really nice. You don't want a huge giant frame around the screen. So whatever program you're using, you can actually program these buttons to do whatever hotkey you want, which is really nice and it's easy to set up. They give you not one, but two stylus pens, which is really nice in case if you lose the one or whatever. It's a nice little backup. And then of course all the cords, uh, there's a stand that comes with it, which you figure would be standard. <laughs> standard. That's a good one. I didn't even write that down. But actually, sometimes they don't even come with stands, which is kind of upsetting. So this one comes with a stand, so that's a bonus. Screwdriver. So you don't even need to go out and buy a screwdriver if you don't have one. It's also magnetic. And once you set up the stand, you can plug it into your computer and you're ready to draw. Of course, you have to download some software or insert the, the CD and then that, that Either way. It also comes with something called a smudge guard, which I kind of wanted to buy because I didn't have one. It's a little glove here that goes over two fingers. So it stays on the uh, the one half of your palm, basically. So when you're drawing, your hand will glide a lot smoother along the glass. If it's like, if you're sweaty or anything like that, your hand won't be sticking. It's just, and there's less smudges on your screen. So it's a really nice thing to have. And I've been using this since uh, since I got it. So right away, once I've uh, started using the Huey on display, I noticed that it works good. It works great. Um, so the the one big benefit to this compared to the only other product uh, competitor I know is. Uh, Wacom is that uh, this one costs Huion costs eight hundred dollars uh, plus tax or whatever, and Wacom is like almost three times the price. So right away when I started to draw on this thing, I I realized like it was it was like the same thing. It was it was an excellent. Uh, it could it could read the pen really well. The pressure was was really good. You can also uh, adjust the pressure sensitivity and everything. But I was actually really surprised at the price difference and how well it performed. Now keep in mind, I haven't been using it as long as Wacom. However, so far it's been just as good. I I've, I've been really enjoying it and I've been really impressed by it. Again, it can run on any program you want to to use. I always use Adobe Animate. Photoshop and and just uh, you can even just scroll through the web if you wanted to with it If that's what you wanted to do with a graphics pen tablet I recommend doing more than that, but it's really excellent You can also set it up so it can be on a mechanical arm as well So you don't have to use the stand there's there's other things that you could use if you find it more comfortable But yeah testing it out for uh, to draw some images and things like that. I, I saw no performance issues uh, it was it was pressure sensitive. You can adjust the pressure sensitivity. Uh, the the pen felt comfortable in my hand. They had this a similar setup to Wacom, where it's it's uh, the buttons are uh, you have two buttons to choose from. I always use a right click for one, and then uh, a middle click for the other, and then of course the primary click is just you clicking down on the pen and to the screen and drawing. But yeah, Hueyon really, I, I, I'm really impressed by their product here. I, I actually, I really, really am impressed. It's it's also lightweight, which is nice. The one I have um, is uh, a, a little bit older actually. It's it's like four, three years old, four years old now. Uh, so it's it's a lot heavier, but again, it costs three times the price. So uh, Hueyon is a third of the price of its top competitor for the exact same size screen, which is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. The the only drawback, I think, uh, for the most part, uh, that I that really, I guess I, I don't know, I guess I didn't like, um, is that the fact that you have to charge 
the pen, the stylus. So the, the funny thing is, though, is that I think whatever witchcraft Wacom uses um, to you don't have to charge their stylus. I think I'm just spoiled by that. I think it's normal to have to charge a stylus. You got to do it with Apple Pencil. You got to do it with any uh, Windows uh, stylus or any other stylus, I'm pretty sure. And so a uh, Huey on, you have to do the same thing. You have to charge the stylus. But however, they do make up for this because they give you two styluses. So if one battery dies or you lose the one or whatever happens to one stylus, you still have another one so I'd say that's the only drawback again though that is a very small price to pay for the very small price you pay the amazing thing is is that the price here is actually extremely low $800 yes it's still a lot of money but when you compare it to something that I'm used to paying which is Wacom which is three times the price this thing has a really really good price so my final verdict, is it worth buying? Well, let's see, the negatives versus the positives. The negatives, you do have to charge the stylus. There are less pressure levels, but I think that only applies to people who are probably very picky and really want you know, certain things. Most people won't notice it. I believe the resolution is 1920 by 1080, so you can't get like a 4K version or anything like that, as far as I know. There is no touch screen, but again, that's kind of like a, a bonus feature for a lot of these types of things. And the only real thing that kind of bothered me for the negatives, I mean, the pen I had to get used to, and I think that's that's pretty normal for a stylus, as I said before. But the only thing that really bothered me is that uh, there was no, I couldn't find a helpline, uh, a phone number to call. Uh, I looked around and uh, if I needed help uh, troubleshooting anything, couldn't find it. All I could find is like an email type thing to email the customer service and they would get back to me at some point, which is something I don't prefer. I think most people would rather be able to talk to somebody to figure it out. But that I think would be probably the biggest negative. But then again, I didn't need to do that because everything worked fine anyway. The positives, the price is really good. It's really good for, for a graphics pen display this size. It's lightweight. It functions really well for its price. It's got a pen holder, which is pretty cool. It comes with a stand and the experience is just, it's much the same as, as the more expensive option. This works. This, this is a really good option to, to try out. Overall, I think there's probably some bells and whistles that, that aren't on here that the more expensive options have. Like I said, the higher resolution, maybe uh, extra pressure levels, and the option to have the touch screen feature as well. But those things are bonuses. They aren't a necessity. And now for the real test. If I dual wield the styluses, well, can I draw two lines at once? And no, I can't, but I tried. But now for the real, real test, playing StarCraft with it, because that's what you do <laughs> the graphics pen display. Let's try Heroes of the Storm now. I, this is difficult. This is not what it's meant for. It's meant for drawing. Yeah, I don't recommend playing games with it. It, it, unless you're up for the challenge. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and like the video if you enjoyed these reviews. I hope to do more, actually. I, I This was fun. I want to do more of these. So if anyone else out there wants to allow us to review your product, we will review it. I will do it for you. It will be fun. I enjoy it. But yes, if you'd like to check out this product and maybe order one for yourself, go down below to the description, click on the link for Hueyon, and it'll take you straight there. I believe there is e there's even a discount code. It might be still up. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But check it out uh, and, uh, you know, make it an option. Try it out, man. I, I would, again, highly recommend it. Okay, that's it for me. Your best friend's got to go. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to hang out this weekend, I think. So I'll see you this weekend. We'll drink a milkshake together. You and me. Out of the same milkshake. Two different straws, though. And then we find out.